What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effects Studios, and as you can tell, we are checking out Camtasia, which is a program that near about everybody who does video lessons uses, including myself. And as you can see, the price for the Camtasia Studio is $199. And then if you want to upgrade it, which is right here, uh, upgrade from the previous version, you will pay $99.50. So let's take a look at something. So we've got $199 for the program, and then you got a $99.50 upgrade fee. Total price for that is $299.49. If you look at it over the course of many different versions over the course of many years, so basically let's just say $100 on top of that every year. So it'll go from $299 to $399 to $499 to $599. All within a five-year span, you've already spent $599. Or we can take a look at this right here, the Camtasia Studio subscription base. This one right here is $9.99 a month. So let's go ahead and drag this notepad over right here. So as you can see, we've got our uh, the price of the program, which is, I think it's without the zeros, so we're gonna change that to zero, zero, and change this to 50. As you can tell here, we've got $9.99 times 12 months equals $119.88. That is cheaper than the actual price of the program at $199. Times that by two years and you get $239.76. So if you buy the program now and then they release a new update to it, uh, the, or a new version of the program, then you will pay $99.50 for $299. It's still cheaper to do a two-year subscription, and you get to get all of the new versions every single time they come out, sort of like Microsoft Office. I've got the Microsoft Office subscription. I've had it for over a year. So every single time that there's a new update to Office, I get that new update. And the same thing with Adobe uh, with their subscription-based cloud as well. So near about every program including 3ds max and several other companies are going over to this subscription base now let's take a look at an issue and that is that a majority of the people to come on to here do not understand how to use it now i am going to go ahead and i am going to uh, do the process of getting the subscription base right here live on this video to show you how to do it without running into any issues now as you can tell i am doing this through a uh, window remote windows assistance so i've actually uh, i'm going to install this onto my other computer or i'm going to go through the process of installing it onto my other computer because i'm actually using camtasia right now to record this so let's go ahead and choose add to cart and we're going to purchase for myself. And let's see, there's nothing else here that we need. Go ahead and choose purchase for myself. And then let's log in with my Steam account. Didn't work. Okay. Uh, hello, we see you're logging into Steam from a new browser or new computer, or maybe it's just been a while. Uh, as an added account security measure, you'll need to grant access to this browser by entering the special code we've sent your email at cffcs.com. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going to come over here and we're going to choose a MasterCard. And then we're going to come in here and add in all of our billing information. Okay, right here where it says save my payment information so checkout is easy next time. This right here is a must. You have to check this. If you do not check this, then you will have problems with doing the monthly scheduled payment. And that is where a lot of people have been complaining is that they have had a hard time to get the monthly subscription to to take money out of their account every month and then they've got to go through this process again and again every single month well i'm here to tell you if you actually pay attention whenever you go through these payment forms for monthly 
accounts or anything like that, you will see something that looks similar to this. Save my payment information, so check out is easy next time. Make sure, if it's unchecked, make sure that you check that so that you do not have to worry about it ever again. Click on continue. And this right here says subtotal $9.99, tax zero, total $9.99. And this is my MasterCard information. Uh, gift options, none. It's going to be billed to me at my address, my phone number, and my Steam account. And then I agree to the terms of the Steam subscriber agreement. And so we're going to click on purchase right now. And we are purchased now. Email confirmation has been sent to you. Any digital items in your order are now registered to your account on Steam. To access your items, simply visit your library in Steam whenever you're ready. Confirmation of your purchase is provided below. The information will also be emailed to you shortly. Count name the total $9.99. That's how much I will be charged every single month. They have gone down. It used to be $20. As a matter of fact, yesterday it was $10.99, and today it is $9.99. I had complained, uh, as well as several other people on their Facebook page, whenever they had asked what a subscription base should be. And I suggested that it should be either 5 or $10, no more than that, considering the fact that you're only getting one program whenever I can get Office for $10.99 plus tax, and I'm getting five programs. And so, I mean, with just one program, it should be no more than $10 a month. So, $9.99 a month is not bad at all. It's got to install Steam. So, we're going to go ahead and click here. Okay, so we're going to come over here. We're going to log into our existing account. Okay, click on next. Okay, so we've got this and we've got software right here and we have our Camtasia right here. And so we're going to install Camtasia. Okay, we are going to go inside of our folder to see exactly where Steam is downloading Camtasia to. So we're going to go inside of Program Files 86, come down here to Steam, and then we're going to go down to the Steam Apps. As soon as I get my cursor over there, I'm actually voice over this part. And then it's going to be inside of Downloading, as soon as I get my cursor up there. And then inside of that folder, get in yonder. There you go. Click on in number nine. There you go. Number nine. Number nine. Or as installers. Okay, so it's inside of installers. So that is where it's located at, people. Alrighty. Okay, so we've got ourselves an error right here. What it is is that it cannot find that file because the file has actually been relocated out of the 253050 folder. And so it's actually located in another direction right here. We're going to launch it from here. So let's go ahead and do that. Do everything from within the uh, Steam itself. So this is how the new Camtasia looks compared to the one that I have been using. And let's see, it says enter software key. Okay, I spoke with Camtasia about this 30-day trial thing issue, and they told me that they are in the process of working on it. So hopefully within the very near future, they will actually have a subscription version instead of trial. So fingers crossed that they will get that done soon. Okay, people, that is it. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope that it helps y'all get y'all self started with Camtasia's new subscription base for $9.95 a month. I am Wayne Barron. This is Dark Effect Studios. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.